Wait a second, isn't this supposed to be the last Gamera movie? Alright, in case you hadn't figured it out yet, I decided I needed a bit of an extra breather before I did the last chapter of the Gamera-a-thon. And, since I appear to be in unfamiliar surroundings, I thought I'd do something that was a little more tolerable and based in logic. A Turkish knockoff movie. <laughs> Well, we've seen Turkish versions of Spider-Man, Superman, and Batman and Robin, so now how about a Turkish take on one of the original comic strip heroes, Flash Gordon? Now, you may expect this movie to be a cash-in on the 1980 Flash Gordon movie, but actually, this movie was made in 1967 and is based more on the classic Flash Gordon film serials of the 30s and 40s. Which is a bit of a shame. I was really hoping to see if Turkish Timothy Dalton's mustache was as rockin' as the real deals. And here's a surprise, apparently this movie aired on Turkish MTV. Man, I miss when that channel actually used to play Turkish knockoffs of music videos. Oh well, at least we still have India for that. And what the hell, one of the actor's names is ISIL? Great, now Donald Trump's gonna talk about how he'll bomb the shit out of this movie. Anyway, the movie begins with the producers already in jail for copyright infringement. Either that or I put in Turkish Midnight Express by mistake, which would be ironic. I have no idea why this guy's in jail, although it doesn't seem to matter since in the very next scene he's free again. So is this guy supposed to be Flash? How am I supposed to know that unless he's wearing a t-shirt with his name on it? At least the movie lets me know it's a Turkish film right away by having an awkward edit within the same shot. And doesn't this just look like a Flash Gordon movie so far? Some guy in a suit asking women for directions? Yeah, keep looking, fellas. I'm sure there's a Flash Gordon knockoff in that script somewhere. <laughs> Okay, now I know messing up a few books is apparently enough to land you in prison in Turkey. And does every Turkish movie I review have to have Lex Luthor in it? Baldi here breaks Flash out of jail with a gun that not only opens doors, but also forces people to show their cum face. And the guy just busted you out of jail! Show a little gratitude, Flash! <laughs> What the hell? Does Flash get to the planet Mongo by taxi? Oh, never mind. I guess he just takes the Gravitron from a state fair. And apparently Flash gets equipped with power pasties? No, no, you're supposed to be knocking off Flash Gordon, not Flesh Gordon. Although if there's anybody that needs to cover his nipples, I think it's this guy. <laughs> Pretty clever of the filmmakers to incorporate the bongs used in the script writing process into the actual film. And I wasn't joking about those being power pasties earlier. Flash's nipples have the power to save the universe. After destroying the enemy spaceships, Flash lands on a planet. At least I think. The effects in this movie look like a Monty Python student film. And dude, Flash is still getting used to his power bra. Give him the super dick pump later. You know, I will say this, the crappy cinematography actually manages to make this look like an alien world as opposed to somebody's backyard, which is what it probably is. Uh-oh, looks like they wandered onto the set of Turkish Tremors. And do you mean to tell me Flash's power nipples can destroy spaceships but he can't get rid of a few sand zombies? I guess it doesn't help that his collision detection appears to be off. So what, they've been captured by the mole people now? Maybe Turkish John Agar can come save them. Better hurry though, it looks like Flash's bra is really starting to chafe. I don't know what the danger is, the zombies look like they just want to sing Kumbaya. It's here that we learn that Flash's boobs can defy gravity, which is how you can tell that they're implants. <laughs> They manage to escape after Flash lactates fire on them, I guess, and they make it back to the ship. Now, in case you're wondering why they landed on that planet in the first place, if they were just gonna leave right away... I don't know, there's no subtitles, I don't know what the fuck's going on! Yeah, that's right, Flash. Just tweak the controls like they're your power nipples. I'm sure something good'll happen. And I'm a little concerned that so many of the ship's controls look like penises. Oh no, don't tell me Baldi's dying! I still don't even know who he is! Jeez, at this point Flash looks just as confused as I am. Oh well. Nipple, nipple, tweak, tweak, oh! Yeah, you're right, Flash. The power bra is a little ridiculous. I think it's time for a costume change. Maybe in this outfit people will think you're Turkish Captain Marvel. Hey,
Now this may come as a bit of a surprise, but I'm not really sure what happens next. He gets discovered by a spaceship full of lunch ladies, I think? I don't know, it looks like they're in the same ship as he is. You know, I get the feeling that even if I spoke Turkish, this part would still be confusing. So is this guy supposed to be Ming? Hmm, okay, guess that answers that. Okay, actually, I think this guy's supposed to be Ming, and I'm assuming the girl is supposed to be Princess Aura? And since there's no Dale Arden in this movie so far, that means they can actually end up together this time. Ming does not look happy that Flash wants to bang his daughter. Fortunately, Aura only goes for boys her dad doesn't approve of. Uh, hey, lady, do you mind not doing your stretches right now? We're kind of making a movie here. And is she just going to stand there and watch them this whole time? And one awkward edit later, and they're done. A guard shows up, but he's not much of a threat since he just gives Flash his gun. In fact, lots of people in this movie seem eager to give Flash their weapons. Not that it really matters, though, since Flash's suit is film scratch proof. Too bad these other guys don't have that. Well, he's been on this planet for a couple minutes. Time to leave. Thanks, mystery lady who just showed up. Whoever you are. Fun fact, Turkish Flash Gordon was responsible for plans 1 through 8 from outer space, but was unable to participate in plan 9. Also, if your ship starts crashing, just jump out of it in mid-air and you'll be fine. I have no idea what planet they're supposed to be on now. The picture's so washed out it looks like they're walking along a blank screen. And now it looks like they wandered onto the set of Turkish Yo Gabba Gabba. I'm really glad this movie was made before Turkish Jim Henson died. These characters never sounded right afterwards. Oh, and you'll never guess what happens next. After running around the planet for a few minutes, they get inside a spaceship and then leave. Yeah, noticing a pattern here? Forget Flash Gordon conquers the universe. This movie should have been called Flash Gordon goes to a random location for a couple minutes and then leaves abruptly. Oh well, at least these guys were nice enough to give him a ride. <laughs> You know it's a Turkish movie when you can't tell if these are just decorations or are actually supposed to be monsters. And I guess these two are love interests now? That makes sense. He's known her about as long as he knew not Princess Aura earlier. Yeah. Okay, again, I'm just guessing at the storyline here, but I think Turkish Eugene Levy here has a problem with Flash and Dale's romance. Oh well, it doesn't matter anyway since he gets shot right away. Yeah, that's what you get for making all those American Pie sequels. So I think Flash is trying to rescue Dale now? I don't know, the costumes in this movie are so similar looking, it seems like he's just beating up the people who gave him a ride earlier. And is he supposed to be on the same planet as before? I'd make a joke about this looking like Turkish Doctor Who, but this actually looks a little bit better than the early Doctor Who episodes. Yeah, that's right, MTV. You can keep telling me this is a fantastic film all you want, but I ain't buying it. Also, I think Flash just vaporized himself. Oh, never mind. It was just another awkward Turkish edit. My bad. Say, maybe Flash's real plan was to talk Aura and Dale into a threesome. The fourth guy can watch. So far, my biggest disappointment with this movie is there's no Prince Voltan in this version. That means I can't do this gag. Hey! And screw it, while we're at it, might as well add this gag, too. <laughs> okay, so Flash and Dale escape from Mongo, I think, and they head for Earth. I guess. Hey, watch where you're going, Flash. You'll fly right into the beginning of Turkish Superman. And I might have spoke too soon about them heading back to Earth, since in the next scene, Ming's apparently back again? Well, there's only a few minutes left. You might want to defeat Ming there, fellas. Or have whoever the hell this is show up. What the hell? Did this just turn into Turkish Evil Dead? Oh, and how's this for a rousing climax? Some cartoon ships fire film scratches at each other, and I guess the good guys win because that's the end of the scene. Congratulations, Flash, you saved the day. Except you're still fighting people? Okay, obviously my copy of the movie's incomplete, but I think I know a way to save this ending. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
You know, in some ways I'm a little disappointed with Turkish Flash Gordon. Judging by previous Turkish superhero movies, I was expecting him to be a mass-murdering psychopath who frequents strip clubs. But instead, he hardly kills anybody and only sleeps with people who still have their clothes on. If I wanted to see a PG superhero movie, I'd watch an American superhero film, goddammit. But on the other hand, this does sort of capture the look of the old 30s and 40s Flash Gordon film serials, so mission accomplished there, I guess. I just wish it had a bootleg Queen soundtrack the filmmakers obviously didn't ask permission for. And on top of that, this movie doesn't even have a real ending. What the hell is up with that? Oh. Uh -huh.